Camera. And action. After a thrilling pilot, the cast and crew of 666 Park Avenue is back in action. It feels great. You know, it feels great to be uh, back at ABC and uh, Sunday's at 10. It's been a good look for me. Okay. But yeah, getting the whole posse back together and, uh, you know, we're in week two of production. Action. The scripts are great and uh, everyone's really excited. The crew's really excited and, you know, shooting out in the streets of New York. The, the fans are out there. It's really, it's, it's something. Oh, well, I'm pretty excited. I'm kind of nervous. I always get nervous before we start working until I find my feet. Well, the best way I can describe it is, you know, at the moment there's one suit of clothes. That's how. It's kind of narrow who he is, so the more layers we can start adding and the more colors we can add to the character, the, the more relaxed I'll be. It's great to start the project. I mean, now we're, you know, a few episodes deep into it, so we're getting a chance to really establish relationships on, on camera. I know when we shot the pilot, there were a couple of crew members that were very hesitant to mention the number 666. I'm not particularly superstitious myself, but having said that, the basement scene, if you've seen the show, you'll, you'll know where there's a, my character discovers a dragon mosaic. That is a really creepy, creepy building and it's right next to a cemetery. So there's definitely, uh, definitely some creepy vibes. I'm not terribly superstitious. On the other hand, I don't, I don't want to be convinced. I'm just fine as I am. Thanks very much. We are shooting in an old uh, brewery and uh, so far so good. I mean, we haven't, thank God, haven't had any injuries or unexplained a mishaps. For the most part, everything's been sort of unsupernatural on set. Hopefully it stays that way. Yeah. I have a pair of boxers on standby, just in case. <laughs> You're only renting this life, my friend. Make the payment, or she's not long for this world. I thought this character looked like he could be fun to play. I mean, it's fun to play heavies. Well, I think uh, the, the Henry-Gavin relationship is gonna be very interesting, because I think uh, at a certain point, I think he would like Henry to be his protege and work alongside of him. Obviously getting to work with Terry O'Quinn, who's a you know phenomenal actor and having those one-on-one -on -one scenes. That is impressive. Where he's molding me into being uh, the person he wants. So it's it's cool, it's a, it's a cool, cool storyline. Gavin and Olivia are the power couple that Jane and Henry admire, are terrified of, um, want to emulate. Uh, and aspire to be one day. The Drake is a mystery that Jane is beginning to explore, which is getting under my skin a little bit. Henry tells me that you've been studying the history of the Drake. She's a little too smart and a little too curious. What I like about the character of Jane is she's very curious. Um, uh, she's very interested in the world of the Drake, which is where Henry and Jane move into in the pilot. You know, she's interested in the architecture and she wants to figure out the mystery of why these kind of spooky things keep happening. So she's very fun to play with. You keep looking at the red one. When I read this particular script, I couldn't put it down. Uh, Olivia wasn't a huge character, but I knew that this was the world that I wanted to be a part of. As soon as I started reading the script and the, and the teaser, and uh, I mean, I was like, wow, this is different. This is a, a sort of horror thriller, sci-fi, soap type show that's, that's new for network television. And, you know, to get to be a part of it, uh, I consider myself very lucky. I'm so excited to be back in action. Watch 666 Park Avenue this fall on ABC.